G'day guys, welcome to United Tools TV. I'm Dwayne from Oz Tool Talk. Today I'm reviewing the Metabo KGS 18 LTX 216. Uh, what that is, is a 216 millimeter or eight and a half inch cordless sliding miter saw. Runs on a single 18 volt battery. I've got Metabo's new 6.2 lithium HD battery here. Very exciting. Uh, you can get this in kits with 5.5 lithium HD batteries as well, but a single 18 volt battery to run a job site miter saw, sliding saw, pretty, pretty exciting. First up, this only weighs 14 kilos with a battery, so it's very, very maneuverable. Um, it's got a nice big handle here for carrying it around. As you can see in its packed up position, it's quite small, um, so very maneuverable for sight. It's pretty exciting. Um, in terms of cut capacity, it slides out to 305 millimeters and it can cut to a depth of 65 millimeters. Um, so quite good. I think probably as big as you would, uh, you would need on the vast majority of sites. Chuck it on a 45, you're gonna get 205 millimeters cut width. Chuck it on a 45 degree bevel and you're gonna get 36 millimeters in cut depth capacity. Um, your mitre swings around from to 47 degrees in either direction and your bevel goes 47 degrees to the left and two degrees to the right. So um, look, that's all I want to tell you for now. I'm pretty excited about it, but I do want to test it out, see how powerful it is, because that's the most important thing, and also show you some of the uh, features up close and personal. Okay, so here's the miter saw in its folded up position. Um, good for transport. So if I just bring this around back to a 90 degree cut. And down here we've got the knob that'll release the saw to come up. And then over the back here, undo that to allow the saw to slide. So now she's ready to go. On the top here, you have the light which you can't see very well in, in today's light, but um, that's mainly gonna illuminate the left-hand side, which is sort of better for right-handers. And then you've also got the laser line, which is that second button. So you can see down here, we've got the laser running down there. Those will turn themselves off after a while so that you don't drain your battery by leaving them on accidentally. And this is your 
blade lock here. So you push that in in order to be able to undo your blade, take your blade off. The blade that comes on this saw is a 40 tooth, which is actually a reasonably fine cut for a, um, a 216 millimeter blade. So it gives quite a good finish. You might want to consider grabbing a 24 tooth blade or something if you can get one, if you want to do sort of just cutting up studs all day or something. Um, what else? So this is a, a brushed saw. You can see little brush caps in there. Also, we have a, a ruler fence on the back, which is quite handy if you want to just do rough cuts, docking off something between zero and 220 millimeters there. It's quite easy to do. Um, on the edges, you've got a extendable base on both sides which uh, is going to give you a bit of extra stability, which is quite good. On the right hand side, you've got this little catch here that comes up and acts as a stopper. Um, so a lot of the times guys will just clamp something down onto the fence or onto the table or whatever, but it's already inbuilt, so that's pretty good. Yep. I haven't mounted this down at the moment, it's just temporarily sitting, but you just chuck a couple of hex screws or bugles or something down through there to uh, make the saw very stable. We've also got a trenching feature here. So you can use the trenching feature, all you have to do is, is loosen off this screw here and then pull that little plate forward so that the trenching feature is enabled. It's quite, um, it's quite easy gives really good results and you can see there's a little depth gauge there so you can try and get some accurate results. Got your workpiece clamp here. These are of limited value, I think, to most people. Of course, when you want to bevel, you're going to need to be able to move your backing fences around. So that's what that's for. To bevel, all you need to do is flick that lever, and then the whole saw will push over. So um, that's really, really easy to lock and unlock that bevel. You can see in there, it goes from zero to 47 degrees. It's a 190, so you get a 190 on a 45 bevel cut. I reckon you would, yeah. Up here, with the trigger system and the safety, you have a safety button on this side for use with right hand for right-handers to use their thumb. I find it it's actually reasonably stiff to push down. Some guys, especially the people who tend to remove these safety locks from their saws, are going to find that a little bit, a little bit annoying. But it is, you know, important to to work safely. And then that's your trigger down there. Over here, you can see there's another one of these safety locks for left-handers. So you put your thumb on there, operating as a left-hander. But as a left-hander, you put you really need to be pulling that trigger down with your with your little finger and your ring finger, um, which is a little bit less convenient than for the right-handers who, who who are pulling it down with uh, with their pointer and middle finger. So. Not quite as easy to use for a lefty. Yeah, the, uh, the mitre gauge 
Um, goes from uh, well, a little bit past 47 each way. Um, doesn't go around to 60 like some of the big saws do. It's got really positive clicks in at the main, main so 0, 15, 22, 30, 45, that sort of thing. They stop in there really nicely. Um, to move it, all you have to do is to press that little guy and then as soon as you're moving, you can let go and it'll drop into the next positive stop at those main angles. If you want to lock it in at a non-standard angle, maybe six degrees here, seven degrees, all you have to do is twist this here and then she's locked in. So very easy to use system. There's a little um, foot under the sliding um, part of the saw there. Um, so that you can make sure there's no load being put on this. So that's it for the testing and a close-up. I just wanted to give you some concluding thoughts now. Um, first up, in terms of limitations, the 65mm cut depth means that if you do tall mouldings, you know, um, baseboards or architraves, things like that, um, this tool's not for you because it's literally limited at 65mm. Um, it's going to be great for smaller more fine moldings, um, but the tall ones, you can't do it. Uh, well, you can't stand it up, I should say. You can definitely lay them down, but a lot of guys like to put a bevel on their taller moldings by standing it up and just using the miter, and you won't be able to do that on this saw. The other limitation is, um, all saws tend to struggle going through large timber, um, you know, big dimension timber on a bevel and the battery saw obviously doesn't have the same power as an electric saw, so that, that's a bit of a struggle. Other than that, um, if you're working with structural timber, studs, LVLs, uh, treated pine, you know, 45 mil timber, it's gonna be no problem at all. It's a really powerful saw. I'm really surprised what they can achieve on a single 18 volt battery. It's really quite impressive. Um, and the size and how much this unit weighs um, only 14 kilos makes it really portable and I've found that to be really, really convenient. So it's a very full featured saw. You don't need tools to change or adjust anything on this except for the back fence if you had to adjust that for any reason. And really importantly, it came out of the box absolutely dead square. Most guys do the vast majority of their cutting at 90 degree angles and 45 degree angles. Um, so to have it come straight out of the box and be perfect for those is, uh, is a really good thing. So anyway, please go check it out. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I think uh, as long as you understand the limitations of this size blade and um, an 18 volt power, which will surprise you, um, you'll, be, you'll be you'll really like it. You'll love it. Um, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Um, please like and tell us what you want to see next. Thanks for watching United Tools TV. Cheers.